a couple of managements joining us now, so we request you to listen in as well. Uh, let's talk about Quest Corp. Their Q4 margins have improved. The workforce management business has been quite steady. Their headcount has been growing year on year. And general staffing has crossed the 400,000 milestones. So basically, all good things happening at Quest Corp. Guru Prasad Srinivasan, the Executive Director and Group Chief Executive Officer, and Kamal Pal Hoda, the Group Chief Financial Officer at Quest Corp, uh, both joining us now to give us uh, you know, their view on the business. Gentlemen, morning to both of you. Mr. Srinivasan, I want to start with you. You know, it's the margin improvement that the street definitely likes um, in I think in FY 23 23 as a whole your margins were under a bit of pressure because of some decisions that you guys guys had taken slow down and IT staffing etc but I want to know from here on uh, in FY 24 your EBITDA margins uh, closed about 3.6 percent what kind of upside do you have in margins going forward and what could the range look like for the business Sure. First and foremost, uh, thanks for having us on the show, and uh, we are delighted to, you know, announce our robust result for uh, Q4. Uh, our our rebita has grown 18 uh, percent <clears throat> year on year, and uh, our revenue growth is 11 percent year on year. And coming back specific to question that you asked, uh, yes, uh, our margin uh, did uh, had a great uptick uh, during the year, from 3.42 to 3.92, where we exited the uh, Q4 financial uh, FY24. A uh, couple of uh, uh, you know uh, specific uh, callouts. There is one uh, we had uh, we had actually you know uh, informed in past as well that uh, founded one of our product led business where we had done the investment, and we are happy to announce that we are on plan and our burn has reduced in that business. So that is one of the contributor uh, how why the margin expansion is slowly coming back uh, nearing to four percent, and uh, the other uh, incidents are uh, like you know the IT slowdown. Uh, that we had and a couple of investments that we had, uh, uh, you know, burn that we had uh, during FI23 has, uh, you know, taken better shape in FI24 and that has helped us to, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, bring, bring narrow down the percentage uh, a bit. Beyond that, there is a lot of operational efficiency and uh, uh, more deep uh, business drive and orientation that we have brought into uh, with more technology interventions, which has helped us to expand our margin in terms of what we offer to our uh, uh, customer in terms of bringing our cost to serve down. So multiple parameters, uh, which has helped us to you know bring it near. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I would I would leave it there. Uh, got it, got it. Mr. Srinivasan, uh, I, I take your point. There are multiple, uh, you know, triggers on the upside for the margins. I get that. But particularly for the U.S. staffing and the found IT business, you had spoken about how you, uh, you know, you're looking for break-even by the end of FY24. Um, in Q3, you had said that. Has That's that right. happened? And what is the expectation moving forward? Yes. So we are, as I said, we are on track and on plan. Uh, Year before, we almost burnt about 98 crores, and uh, this financial year, we are close to about 60 crores, so the burn has come down. And as we said, uh, Q4, we are almost close to about 6 crores burn. Uh, it has drastically come down from where it used to be about uh, minus 20 crores, 27 crores in uh, Q1 FY23. So uh, we are on course, and uh, this year, we, we should almost continue to be break even and invest more in marketing. Uh, our revenues are going up, our quarterly revenues. Uh, for found it has uh, sales have crossed almost 50 crores and uh, I mean uh, that is going to set the right trajectory for us in this financial year to continue to uh, be almost break even throughout the year and invest more on marketing and focus on sales. Uh, got that. Sorry, monthly. Uh, what is that run rate you said, uh, Mr. Srinivasan? So found it. Uh, we clock a revenue of sales of 50 crore per quarter. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, overall, at a, at a at a bidda level, what was the loss in U.S. staffing and found it in 24? And could you give us an overall uh, sort of? Could you guide uh, guide us for FI 25? So I mean, uh, U.S. is a very small investment, and uh, it's not a major burn. It it was about 12 crore, and we are we are done with it. And if you look at now, uh, we are off uh, completely on that, and we are we are we have no more burn. We have scaled down the business completely, considering the. Uh, the economic, uh, uh, you know, environment around. But otherwise, this year we, we will not have any burn, and we are just, uh, you know, moving ahead it, we, as part of the workforce. Uh, there won't be any burn coming out from US. Okay, all right. Good morning, gentlemen. Uh, give and take everything. Getting back to the first question, what is the margin number we should work with? Quarter four looked good. There's been some improvement in FY24 in comparison to FY23. 
We're looking for a number. Any one of you all can give that one to us. Uh, so let me take that, uh, Nigel. Yeah. So while we do not give any number guidance, but if you see a large part of our business uh, performance is actually linked to the strength of the growth of the economy. And with the investments happening in infrastructure and utilities, which are high employment intensive sectors, uh, we believe that uh, we should be able to grow uh, at least two to three X uh, of the GDP growth rate. Okay, and margins could you hold around these levels? Uh, definitely. Uh, we would love to actually expand the, uh, you know, the trend of uh, expansion in margins. We'd like to continue that in next year. Yeah, because the cash burn is going to come down in this couple of these businesses as well. Yeah. So obviously the margin should look up. Maybe around 20, 30 basis points better than what you did in last year or more? Yes, it should be. 20 or uh, 20, 30 basis points we're working with, right? Right. Yeah. All right. You know, which verticals are likely to drive hiring in FI25? Any kind of guidance you can give us on the headcount addition that you're looking at in FI25 for the staffing business? So just to add uh, a bit more uh, flavor to it, uh, Nigel, you know, uh, I think, you know, country is in the face of investment and I'm sure we'll have much more firmer view post elections. Uh, and our business is directly reflecting the country's uh, uh, economic growth. So, I mean, we are in a space where uh, you, we are highly intensive in terms of, you know, where human capital is and the investments are getting into utility, utility manufacturing and infrastructure. So all our three businesses uh, would be, we would still continue to see a kind of outlook uh, anywhere between 18 to 20 percent uh, revenue growth that we'll still anticipate the kind of demand that we are uh, seeing coming in uh, specifically for workforce and our GTS business continues to uh, deliver a higher uh, EBITDA margins and of course uh, the third platform which is integrated asset maintenance uh, has come out of all COVID uh, uh, you know uh, holdbacks that it had and steadily delivering their results and also delivering a quality EBITDA margin. So from that standpoint, I think we'll continue to, uh, we are quite confident to see anywhere between 18 to 20% growth. So this GTS business, the revenue growth year on year has been about 5 to 6%. Can you push to double digit revenue growth anytime soon? If yes, what are the timelines looking like? Mr. Srinivasan? So we would definitely want to take go that direction for that business, obviously considering the kind of quality of EBITDA that we get. But it has a two set of mix of business that comes into international as well as domestic. Uh, the international business comes at a very higher uh, EBITDA margins, but the quantum of that mix is to the revenue will not be uh, as high as uh, it would be. It, it, it would release a healthy EBITDA margin, but not a higher revenue growth, which is what you can see the nonlinear growth, uh, the way this business is growing. So we anticipate We'll bring in the right mix of both as part of our plan. But uh, yeah, very close to a double digit is something that we should definitely, uh, you know, aspire at. Mm. Uh, got that. Uh, thank you very much, both of you, for joining us and running us through uh, some of that detail and how a 525 really looks like. Appreciate it. Quest, Quest Corp and uh, focus there uh, after numbers and uh, that management interaction.